Maya 2022 also adds several improvements to the graph editor, bringing artists a smoother, even more efficient user experience, with new filters to help with cleaning up, sampling, and smoothing animation curves. Three new auto tangent modes and the addition of the Add Keys tool will help reduce the amount of time needed to craft your animation curve shapes in the graph editor. Our three new animation curve filters will give our users the same type of power that they're used to from Motion Builder with the Smooth Filter, Peak Removal Filter, and Resampling filters all being improved to work within Maya's graph editor to give you better results from your motion capture data and give you the performances on your characters that you're after. Three new auto tangent types build on our legacy auto tangent, now called auto span, giving you the ability to have more appealing curves right out of the box when you go from blocking a shot, maybe in step mode, and the first time switching over to auto tangent. This is really where the animation work starts, the hard work starts. You feel like this will give animators an edge in terms of how much time they're spending in the graph editor polishing their performances. So let's jump into Maya here. We've got this motion capture performance here, running at 60 frames a second with cache playback. We've got the smooth filter and the peak removal filter. So the first thing I've selected is I have uh, this knee controller here. And you can see I've got uh, some keys um, that are all peaked and, and messed up. So I'm gonna use this peak removal filter on this first. So you can see it did a great job of, of removing those peaks that were here, essentially those jitters that you get quite often with motion capture. So let's try this knee here. We've got the classic Euler filter fix here on this one. You can see we've got some nice curves here now. This particular area, we've got quite a bit of bumpiness we're going to apply the smooth filter, smooth that out. So let's grab one particular channel. You can see some jankiness here. We're going to use the peak removal filter. See how nicely that cleans that curve up. There are a few bumps here and there. We're going to use Peak removal on that one again. You see what a great job it does on those, those types of curves. We'll grab these hands, which quite often have a lot of jitter in them. You've got a bunch of things happening here. I'm just gonna smooth those out with the smooth filter, peak removal filter. See my cache building up. It's a, it's a fairly long scene. It's 365 frames long at 60 frames a second. But we've cleaned up those hands, gotten rid of all those jitters, have some nice, some nice curves there to work with. And ultimately we know we have some smooth motion and we're not gonna get those little jitters and the feedback that you might see. Now on playback, I can see this knee, it's a little bit funky here. So we're gonna go in here, check this out. So we're gonna go through here and here, and we're gonna, we're gonna smooth that filter out. with the width. I'm gonna go in and delete some of these keys. I'm gonna smooth it out. So let's take a look at our new auto tangent types. Auto ease, auto mix, and auto custom. But our crocodile scene, the walk cycle on it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna isolate this foot. We're gonna look at the translation 
channels here specifically. Now the scene's already animated, but if I wanted to, to play with these curves, essentially how they're in-betweening, we've updated the angular rhythm here for our auto tangents. So if I go to these new auto tangent types here, this is auto tangent ease, my favorite one. But essentially out of the box, you're gonna get more appealing curves with a little more slow in and a little more slow out. You'll see the interpolation between your keys is gonna be a lot smoother and again, more appealing. Let's do it for this set here. This next setting is mix. There's going to be a little bit of different math going on. It looks like it's fairly similar to what, what the, the animator had in the shot. Let's grab these curves, this whole set. And we're going to go to this new mode, which is Auto Tangents Custom. In order to customize your Auto Tangents, you can find that up in this Tangent menu under Auto, which lists all of our new auto tangent modes. So you can see legacy mode, which is now called auto span legacy. That's the default uh, auto tangents that we're all used to. And as mentioned already in this video, we have auto ease, auto mix, and auto custom. So for auto custom, it's really the, the opportunity to customize the values that work for you, depending on your shot or what you're used to as an animator. So auto ease is essentially a different uh, setting in here different value that we felt was appealing to animators. Um, we're still fine tuning this based on feedback. Auto mix is a little more subtle as you've seen in the demo. And auto custom is essentially whatever you want. So you can go in here and, and fine tune these numbers uh, exactly how you want and really play around with these values using numbers or, or the slider here. Uh, and just hit apply. And as you can see, it updates in the graph editor. So some really nice new updates to auto tangent that will save you time. When you're going from blocking to auto tangent, again, that's really where the, the work starts, where you're fine tuning all those curves. We hope this really um, gives you a bit of a head start, gives you some more appealing curves and uh, more appealing in-betweens between your keys.